Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi guys. Today we're going to start our journey on basic chemistry. This is chapter 1, unit of measurement. Alright. The next one uh, we're going to see is the lesson framework where you will know what are the topics that you will learn. And then the lesson outcome. So for this lesson outcome, this is what you'll be able to uh, to do after you finish uh, this chapter okay the first one is you know how to name and use the SI unit and then you can determine the number of significant figures and then you can do a simple mathematical operation that involving the significant figures that you can convert the measurement into a scientific notation and the SI prefix and transform the statement of equality into a conversion factor and perform of conversion as I unit. So these are all the things that I hope that you'll be able to do after you finish this chapter. So the basic and derived unit. Chemists use international system of unit or we call it as a SI unit for measurement. So here there are four dimensions for basic, derived, uh, basic unit. Uh, length, mass, time and temperature. Okay so for length we use meter, mass, kilogram, time, is second and temperature is Kelvin. Even though there are few types of unit that are commonly used in chemistry. For example, in mass. Okay, mass a kilogram is quite a heavy, uh, quite a higher number. So kita usually use gram instead of kilogram. And then for temperature, usually kita guna degree Celsius. Okay, tapi SI unit is Kelvin. Alright, and then the area, volume and density. Okay, these three. These are the derived dimension. These are all coming from the basic dimension. Uh, so, the derivation daripada basic ni. So, area, of course, kita tahu length times length. Okay, so it is a meter square for the SI unit. Volume, length time length time length. So meter cubic and then density. Density symbol dia adalah D. Okay. Sometimes kalau you belajar fizik symbol dia adalah raw. So this is uh, for SI unit kilogram per cubic meter. Kilogram per cubic meter. Okay. That's all on basic and derived unit. So for prefix, prefix are used uh, in order to show or to indicate the decimal fraction of multiple various. For example, you use prefix when you have this type of number. Okay, let's say you have 2.14 times 10 power of 3 uh, meter. So when you have this number, you can use prefix. Uh, in order to create it or to make it in a decimal fraction. So you can use 2 for 1, 4. Then you think about 10 power of 3 is kilo. So kilo meter. So kilo here means 10 of uh, power of 3. Okay. So these are also used in uh, a lot of daily life. For example, in your pen drive, they use a upper gigabyte and even now they have uh, this terabyte and eh? 1 TB okay ni semua tahu 1 terabyte so these are the name of the prefix and these are the meaning ah. so kalau we talk about milli it's actually 10 power of negative 3 okay kalau I say that you have a 10 milliliter so here means 10 times 10 power of negative 3 liter. Okay, this is all for prefix. The next one is volume. So, volume is one example of derivation unit. Okay, derivation. Derivation from basic uh, SI unit. So, basically, volume is a cubic meter means length time length time length so in SI unit is a meter a cubic okay so in chemistry instead of meter cubic we also use liter and decimeter cubic okay 
So for this one, day C. Day C, if you look at the previous slide, day C means 10 power of negative 1. Alright, so 1 dc cubic means 1 times 10 power of negative 1 and then you add a cubic. So you can uh, times with 3. So 1 times 10 power of negative 3 meter cubic is equal to 1 decimeter cubic. Alright, so this 1 decimeter cubic is very important in chemistry because it is equivalent to 1 liter. So 1 liter equal to 1 decimeter cubic. Yeah. Alright, so this uh, decimeter cubic also equal to 1000 centimeter cubic. So 1000 centimeter cubic also used in chemistry. And what is equal to the centimeter cubic? It is a milliliter, milliliter. Okay, because this is 10 power of negative 3. Alright, so this is for volume. The next derivation unit that we look at is density. So for density, it is a derivation from kilogram meter cubic, mean mass over length ataupun volume tadi. Yeah? Length time length time length. So this is the SI unit coming from for density. So, in chemistry, usually we use gram per centimeter cubic instead of kilogram per meter cubic because this is quite small. Uh, chemistry ni, dia punya bahan-bahan pun very small. So, tak sesuai kita nak menggunakan kilogram per meter cubic. Usually, we use gram per centimeter cubic. So, because uh, just now you know that centimeter cubic also equivalent to milliliter. So, 1 gram per centimeter cubic also equal to 1 gram per milliliter. Okay, and then this also equivalent to 1000 kilogram per meter cubic. Okay, so 1000 kilogram meter cubic, which is the SI unit, equivalent to 1 gram per centimeter cubic. Okay. Kalau uh, you rasa macam pelik, later on kita akan tengok how we change uh, this uh, number, 1000 kat depan ni, uh, equivalent to this 1 gram. So, 1 gram per liter equivalent to 0.001 gram per milliliter. Again, bila you change the unit uh, yang di depan ni, mungkin akan berubah. Later on, kita akan belajar the conversion factor on how this number are changing. So, for this uh, to be happen, you must remember the meaning of prefix. Ya? Maksud apa? Maksud dia, kalau milli ni, you must know that milli means 10 power of negative 3. Kilo means 10 power of 3. Okay? Right. So, density is mass over volume. Symbol the D equal to M over V. Right. Now we try uh, buat satu exercise kat bawah ni. A piece of platinum have density 21.5 gram per centimeter cubic. Okay, ini yang memang biasa unit yang digunakan in chemistry. It has a volume of 4.49 centimeter cubic. What is the mass? Okay, this is a basic uh, or simple straightforward uh, equation uh, equation so you can just simply put it into the equation density equal to mass over volume so nak dapat mass ah uh, buat naik ke sana so density darab volume you dapat mass so density dia 21.5 gram per cm3 darab 4.49 cm3 nanti you dapat jawapan 96.5 gram so this is uh, the basic one because satu you tengok the straightforward dia bagi density dia bagi volume and the second one it not complicated as it be would be because the unit is same okay you tengok centimeter cubic centimeter cubic there are some problem that will require you to change the unit first before you can put it into the equation Right. 
The next one is temperature. Okay. So temperature is not a derivation unit. Temperature is a SI unit. But because in chemistry, usually use Kelvin and uh, Celsius. Okay. So these two are oftenly used. Okay. Kalau kita tengok kat thermometer kat uh, lab pun, kebanyakannya menggunakan degree Celsius compared to Kelvin scale. Even kita pun cakap kat Malaysia ni hot like uh, 35 degree Celsius. Okay. Uh, now, this kita memang lagi lah alert about our temperature because of this COVID. Kita hari-hari duk cek suhu before we use, uh, we go anywhere. So, we use degree Celsius compared to Kelvin. It will be uh, pelik lah kan kalau kita tulis tu uh, berapa Kelvin. But you, it is a good Uh, practice lah kalau you nak tiba-tiba tembak you punya dahi tu and then you tukar pula daripada degree Celsius yang dia bagi tu kepada Kelvin kan uh, ok, the Celsius scale is actually based on the properties of water, ok, 0 degree Celsius is a freezing point of water while 100 degree Celsius is the boiling point of water, uh, these two memang dah fix because uh, dia ada berkaitan dengan uh, pressure juga. Uh, ni maybe you tak belajar lah in detail why it is zero, why it is 100 degrees Celsius. Yeah? So, the SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. Uh, for this Kelvin, it's actually based on the properties of gases. Kalau degrees Celsius tadi water, Kelvin is gas. Okay. One thing you have to know that there are no negative Kelvin temperature, ok kalau you kata ada tu, uh, something wrong lah tu ya, eh? datang daripada planet lain lah kot <laughs> alright, so another um, unit for Celsius, Kelvin ok, another unit for temperature uh, usually used in uh, uh, apa, not in UK, but I think they use it not in metric number, sorry in apa Amerika lah ok uh, dia biasanya suhu dia harian dia tu dia pakai dalam bentuk degree Fahrenheit ok so here saya akan tunjuk juga these are three formula in order for you to do the basic conversion eh? so if you have a degree Fahrenheit ok you can change it uh, into degree Celsius by doing this uh, equation ok And then, kalau you nak cari dalam degree Fahrenheit, bila you ada degree Celsius, uh, you boleh kira lah uh, berapa Fahrenheit. And the last one is for Kelvin. Kelvin dia sangat simple saja, equation dia. Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273.15. Tiga ni, uh, kalau dulu dalam kelas saya suruh hafal lah. Now this, maybe you belajar, you boleh tengok lah. Kan, bila nak jawab soalan tu, you boleh buat uh, notes lah. These are the formula that need to be used when you convert the temperature. Dia tak ada dah. Dia memang fix ya. Yeah? So, now kita try buat example. So, convert the 172.9 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. Okay. So, you ada degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. Okay, ini adalah unit, uh, sorry, ini adalah equation, uh, equation yang perlu dia hafal bila kita nak convert unit ni. Alright, so, degree Fahrenheit darab uh, equal to 9 over 5 times degree Celsius plus 32. Okay, sekarang you ada degree Fahrenheit ni. So, maksud dia ini yang kita nak cari degree Celsius. So, kita kena rearrange this equation. First thing first, you kena bawa N tambah 32 ni ke, ke belah kiri. So, degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Then, you ada 9 over 5 ni. Again, send it to the left. So, dia akan terbalik jadi 5 over 9. You akan dapat degree Celsius. Okay. Make sure you finish first the uh, minus 32 ni. Eh? Step 1. Okay, so you ada 172.9. You ambil calculator now. You try tekan 172.9 minus 32. After that, you times with 5 over 9. You will get the 
the temperature in the degree Celsius is 78.3 degrees Celsius. Okay, so 172.9 degrees Celsius is actually equivalent to 78.3 degrees Celsius. Oh, sorry, 179 uh, Fahrenheit equal to 78.3 degrees Celsius. All right. So we can try this at home. Okay, I hope uh, the next class will be the, on Wednesday. You can give me all this answer, maybe in our Telegram, uh, or you can personally WhatsApp me your answer about this exercise.